today on Tools and Action, we're going to go over something that's cool. It still affects a lot of Americans um, across the country, uh, and that's power loss, right? We still got a lot of power lines that are above ground, storms hit them, branches hit them, all sorts of different things, and I'm sure everyone here has had some type of power loss, whether it's even an hour, three days where it can actually ruin stuff in your fridge, um, all the medical devices that are attached to it. So. You know, still... It's life or death. Power is life or death for a lot of people. Definitely. Especially the elderly um, people. Well, even where it's hot out, you need air conditioner. You know what right. I mean? So, yeah, elderly for their medical devices, for AC, all sorts of different things. And unfortunately, you guys, when power goes out, it's generally one of those times that when you have hot temperatures or cold temperatures, just some kind of extreme Mother Nature event to cause something like that, mm -hmm. right? So yeah, what's a good way to combat that generators now this generator we're gonna talk about now you guys is uh, from champion it's a 14 kilowatt generator whole house generator they call them is it okay so basically what this is is it's hardwired into my house so when something goes down boom the generator detects that power loss and within seconds fires up and brings me back up to speed with 14 kilowatts of power I think it's 52 amps on that um, so, so that, then you can run it off propane or natural gas right they have versions that will run yes off the yes okay. yeah it does run off of either but it, you got to get it piped in obviously f to begin with now if you pipe it into propane you have an external tank now I'm not sure this is where we're gonna go to getting an expert on this because I don't want to give you guys any kind of install tips or anything nope. um, but it, yes it runs off propane or natural gas now for the install tips call a professional you have to call a professional, you guys. Unless you're an electrician and you think you can attempt this yourself, you need to call a professional for a multiple of reasons. Um, a, they know about this, they deal with it every day. B, you're dealing with electricity, it's your house, it's something that's gonna pop on on an emergency and you want everything to be right and you don't wanna mess things up. And C, would be just kick back, relax, drink some lemonade and watch them install it. Yeah, exactly. You know, you don't have the headaches, you know. Yes, it is an expense. Yes, it is part of the whole, you know, generator plus that you're going to be investing a, a little bit of money. But, again, it's an investment. You're going to be the only guy on the street with that power. That And let me tell you guys, it's pretty amazing because that power went out the other day and uh, it kicked on for about three hours. And I got to say, I didn't even notice that it kicked off. So let me ask you a question. So to go back to install. So you basically install it, you have to install it next to your um, electrical box outside, correct? Not necessarily, I mean they can wire it, but yes, generally you want to be by your electrical box, by your um, So then gas. did they pipe out the gas and did they have to yep. pipe out gas? Yeah, but okay. my, luckily mine was all right next to each other there on the Perfect. side. Other question is, you're not at home, is this something that automatically kicks on? Like so if I'm sitting at home or if I'm away, does it automatically kick on or do I have to be there to switch it back and forth nope, or anything? No, it's an automatic okay. switch, you guys. That big box on the wall I'm showing you right now is the automatic switch. That handles all the smarts to it, everything. Um, and it's real simple for the homeowner. You know, if we open up the panel, there's just a couple switches in there. To set it, it's, it's going to want to run once a week. Because it needs to automatically, right? Automatically, because okay, it cool. needs to do a system test. It needs to keep the engine going good. It needs to keep batteries going. Just everything, you know. There is a 24 volt battery charger that's constantly charging it, so it's always ready to go. Um, so all you have to do out, go out, is like we did it on a Monday. So if it's Monday 10 a.m., you want this thing to start every week. You go out there at Monday 10 a.m. and hit that switch to the red switch right there, and boom, it will run. Do its test then, and it will do it constantly consecutively every week thereafter. Like 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, whenever you have it set, right? Yes, whenever well, you want to set it. So it's real easy for the homeowner to get into that. It does have padlocks on the, or locking handles. Uh, and I'm like, why does it have locking handles? And he's like, well, because people can come in and steal things or mess things up, yeah. you know, you just never know. So uh, it does have locking, and it is quiet, you guys. I can't believe how quiet it is. I don't know the DBs off the top of my head. 63. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's like an air conditioner, mm -hmm. right? So it just sounds like an air conditioner just humming out there. But it's just great to have that seamless energy transfer of, you know, no power. Of course, you're going to lose power, right? Because you have no batteries. There's no batteries involved here. But I'm going to tell you how you can get around that in a second. Um, Wait a minute. Of course, you're going to lose power. Okay, so the power goes out. Boom. We wait 30 seconds. It kicks back on, right? Okay, right. So we do have power now. So everything's normal. La, la, la. Now... When the power comes back... I like the la la la. That's, la, la, la. Yeah. yeah. Kind of like yada, yada, yada. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah. Now, I know what you're saying. You're on a computer, you're writing this huge essay, and all of a sudden your computer just died. Yeah. You know? Cool. It's two things you do. A, you should probably get an iPad or something. Okay. Get a battery backup. But a battery backup, like an APC, you guys. Put that on your internet box. Put that on your computer. And that way, when you do have these power outages, that little time that it takes for the generator to kick up and on, you sh you're showing zero power loss. Yeah. You know? Like, 
And look at this, you're listening to two guys who can't even control a TV. No, we don't know, know how to get that. What is it, screen saver mode off? Or yeah, I don't know what's on? happening here, you guys, know? but it just keeps, it only goes up for like five minutes. We want to keep it up forever. So anyways, um, that's so it, you, you guys. Know. Yeah, we showed you in the beginning the, the unit. What do you guys think about this power? Now, quick thing about Champion also. Um, Champion's been around for a long, long time. We've seen a lot of them in the field. They're a good general generator, right? For pretty much a lot of needs. They have inverters, stuff like that. They had a little cube inverter. I can't remember what it was, mm -hmm. but uh, Rick, our buddy at NASCAR, he, you know, he's at NASCAR running that thing forever. Yeah, is Champion the only line they have, or do they have other lines? Like, there's Champion line, and there's like a they. No, um, I believe it's line. Champion. Okay. Yeah, it's Champion. But I mean, they have like different kinds of lines underneath Champion. Champion is the company. So you guys, they do build portable generators and they do build whole house generators but what I like about this is the turnkey solution right that's what I'm all about turnkey solution call up a local provider have them come out give you a quote they'll tell you about your needs and you know call a couple people shop it right there's no reason why you should take Joe blows you know uh, thing when you could go with Fred you know Fred's you know cheaper but it has been around longer too right but then you got to look online you know you want some fly-by-night guy the guy we used um, get power now just did an excellent job came in professional people came in with a little dingo lifted it up put it in position hooked it up answered all my questions show me how it worked gave me told me what i needed in the beginning and stuff like that and uh it was just such a nice seamless operation. so here's a question does it actually is it a smart generator i know it's smart uh, generator but will it like go to your phone like if you're out of town and say hey it kicked on no okay not this smart. okay no not this model. That'd be kind of cool if they had something like that. So if you're out of town, you know, like, hey, it kicked on, yeah. it kicked off. Yeah, you know, I mean, I'm sure they're working on it or something that you can control via your phone. But, uh, you know, this is just pure power. It's it, It's got one brain. It says when there's no power, turn on and give power. That's all it does. When the power comes back, turn off. That's pretty simple. Simple, very simple. Simplicity lasts. So when the zombies are coming, you guys, my house will still be lit up so the zombies can see it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, you guys, uh, check it out. Let us know what you guys think. Let us know what you guys think about Champion. Let us know, do you have a whole house generator? I mean, even if you don't use this thing for five years and one day it comes on for a day, it could be worth it. You know, you know, you have a mother-in-law that's, you know, on oxygen or on those pumps at night, whatever they need. I don't know if you say mother-in-law, but whatever. What? You know, some people don't like their mother-in-laws. They might say, hey, good, the power's off. Well, you know, yeah. <laughs> okay, but you have a relative, a family member that, you know, needs... A loved one. Yeah, say. that needs that power. It's the, one of the best investments you can ever make because you really can't trust the grid, you guys. Look at what just happened in New York. That's very true, man. Can you imagine if we were in an elevator when that happened? That'd Boom. be kind of fun. Dude, I would be freaked out. I'd be, in, I'd be leaving in a, like, gurney. They'd be like, oh my God, I got a massive panic attack. Everyone would be like, what's out. that smell? <laughs> it's my pants. Yeah. Tools next, you guys. Check it out. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to click like and comment. Get your comments rolling. Peace out. So here we are, we're outside. As you can see, it's storming. It's been storming nonstop here and my power's been constantly going out. That's why we got one of these things is basically to prevent this kind of thing from happening. Now when the power does go out, it does disconnect. Obviously you do lose power in the house. This takes a few seconds for it to realize that the power is gone. Then it will kick on and start going um, and giving you power. So get over here and take a look. Sorry about the wind, you guys, it's stormy. But here's the inside of it. Four, uh, volt starting system the engine it starts itself once a week the cool thing about it you guys is like right now this is the exercise so once a week it's gonna exercise so let's say I wanted to go today's Monday it's about 1130 so I want this to come on every week at 1130 and self-test so I'm just gonna hit the off I'm gonna let it sit for a second just to reset and then when I hit it back on it's gonna start run and remember that time um, another cool feature is it's really quiet Look at that. So the exhaust goes into this box here, keeps it really quiet so you're not really bugging the neighbors or anything like that. It's gonna start here in a couple seconds. But uh, we have the panel on the wall there, so we can lift those up. We have access to both the uh, breakers for the generator and the utility power. Um, 52 amps you're gonna get out of this, Eric. So if you imagine a table saw, what is what, 12 amps? 15. 15 amps, so 52. Wow, look at that plane. Good one.
one, Spielberg. You like that, <laughs> dude? I even zoomed in. Well, that was good. So on your control panel here, you don't have to zoom in, but walk in. We have a main circuit breaker. We have the hours. We have the exercise button, which we just talked about. Everything's green over here is looking good. Over here, we can turn it to test if we want to test the unit. Um, it's on auto right now. So I'm going to flip the switch back up. And you hear a click. <laughs> Sounds like it's like about 63 decibels. 62? 63, I'd say. Is that what the camera says? No, but that's just what it says. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of quiet. So yeah, it's pretty quiet, you guys. Um, you know, it just sounds like uh, air conditioning. Does it, well, never mind. So what I, also you guys with the professional install, look how nice that looks, you know? Honestly, I you definitely want a dealer to install this. I highly recommend a dealer. Obviously you can just buy the generator and do it yourself if you're an electrician or something like that. But still, 99.9% .9 of you are gonna wanna talk to that dealer. You're gonna wanna get the right size. This is a 14 kilowatt. Um, you know, they go down higher, all different. Uh, I think this is the biggest one Champion makes. But, you know, if you have a smaller house, you go down to like a 10 kilowatt, something like that. You don't need all that extra power. It runs off of both propane and natural gas. Right now we have it on a natural gas hookup. Um, so if you're in Florida or something, a natural disaster, and they shut off your natural gas, but yet you have propane and big tanks, you can run it off of that. Um, I don't know, Eric, it's just, it's, it's a pretty cool unit. I'm pretty happy. Right now with this running, it runs everything in the house, including the air conditioner, the fridge, the heater if need be, lighting, computers, everything runs like there's just, there wasn't a power outage. So that'll run for like 10, 10 minutes or so, warm up, self-diagnose itself, shut off. Then every Monday at 11.30, it's gonna start. And test, pretty cool, huh? Right, Eric? Right. <laughs> Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.